everybody, and welcome back for another episode of Power Wash Simulator. We're going to finish up the fire station. Hopefully, we can get it done. It's a big one. Um, I think I was over here. I was. And we're going to finish working on it. My little girl is gone for the day, at least for a while. Hopefully she'll stay up there for a little bit. Mommy needs a break. And I'm sure she needs a break too. We all need breaks from time to time. Can't be shoved right up each other's face all the time. Let's see, I bet there's something under there. Nope. I guess I did get it. Um, so I'm saving up. I want to go ahead and get, um, The professional. So we're going to try to save up. I don't know if I can. I'm not very good at saving in this game, obviously. I think it won't really let you because it just gets harder and harder with the, um, the washer that you have. You have to keep upgrading as it goes along. I don't know. Y'all know me. I'm liable to run my mouth about stuff I don't even know. But yeah, um, she's gone up to my sister's house. And my sister, you know, she's really good with her keeps her comfortable and she understands more than anyone else in my family you know what's going on with with her so she's second best to mommy I would say they don't get her like they used to of course nobody does it's like they're scared of autism like it's gonna infect them. I don't know. And she's not bad. I mean, she even has oppositional defiant disorder. So she's a little naughty sometimes. And, you know, if you don't handle her just right, she can get just downright awful. But we've... We've learned to cope with each other enough where if mommy says enough, she might lip off once or twice more, but that's usually it. She ends it. Usually. So let's turn it, try to get this stuff off here. See some of it's not coming off even with this little tiny um, nozzle. So it's just about time that I'm going to have to to upgrade. It's getting there. And I don't want to buy all the little freaking washes and soaps that go with it. I mean, I'm sure I'll have to, as I can't really afford to get the upgraded power washer yet. But hopefully, we can get by for a little while. Mm 
might have to go over things twice. But, it's okay. I don't mind it. And now that my little one is gone for the day, this cat is sleeping, trying to save its strength. What a... Is this the water jet people? I'm having a frightful time with the ordinary. Any chance you could give it a quick whiz? What? I can't help notice that your ad says power wash. You do realize that involves hot water. You should change the wording on your ad to pressure wash. Unless you're planning something something. I read slow. Sorry. Which is weird because if it was a book. I read a book really fast. I don't know what's up with that. I really, really like this game. Thinking about streaming it a little bit. I don't know. I'll probably be streaming before this video comes out, if I decide to stream it. But I'm looking for a good game to stream, and one that is, you know, kind of cool like this, where I don't have to focus on killing some zombies and stuff, so I can enjoy reading chat and flip. Hold on. Yeah, I never took that frickin' alarm off. Anyways, one where I can enjoy reading chat and, and still get something accomplished. I wonder if that's clean. I wonder if that would work for up here. Gotta go over it a couple times. But it might. Although I should be able to get that when I get up on the roof. And yes, I say roof. It might be a roof. Did I say roof? That's what I say. Can't help it. Alright, that is kind of done. At least I hope it is. I love colors. I mean, I would say my favorite color is blue, like turquoise blue, or even <laughs> uh, Chevy Super Sport blue. <laughs> I don't know, I love blue. I mean, I can, I can get down with some dark blue too. But I love all colors. I love colorful things. That light does not want to come clean. Maybe it's under, yeah. Maybe, maybe baby. Or maybe I gotta get freaking glass cleaner. Wait, was there more? No. Oh, maybe it's on top. Ha! Look you there. Saving money. That's what I do. But yeah, I want a game kind of like this. I thought about doing the Disney one because I'd already streamed one or maybe two of that. But I'm going to be honest. I don't want to stream that one. I do like playing it. But it's a little too cartoony for me. I don't know. 
picky when it comes to my games, and as soon as a game starts to bore me, I'm done. I'm over it. I'm not saying I won't come back to it later and pick right up where I left off, but yeah, that's just the way I am. And it's like I had said in a previous video, my friends play that Conan. We used to do um, Raft on Thursdays, and I would stream with them, but I don't want to do that Conan. I played it, I bought the game, I downloaded it, and I did play it, and I mean, I, I didn't die, but I just couldn't get into it. Maybe because I don't know all of the game, I don't know, I just, I tried. So now, while they're streaming on Thursday, I've got to find me something to do. Now, sometimes I'll probably be in the chat with them. So you can still pop in and watch, you know, watch them doing Conan. And it's on Cage 848's channel. And I'll probably be in chat. If not, I will be streaming myself. I don't like to stream at the same time that the ones I really, really, you know, don't know, look up to, I guess is what you'd say. Because I feel like that's disrespectful. But you know, I also don't like being bored. And I don't really care for the game a whole lot. Love the people. But I don't really care for the game a whole lot. So I'm going to watch it until I don't. It's like this evening. I might watch it with them. And I might not. I've yet to decide. And that's just my personal preference. Nothing against the game. There's many, many, many people that love that game. I am not one of them. I tried it. I gave it the old heave-ho and uninstalled it. It just didn't, didn't crank my tractor, you know? Alrighty. <clears throat> no cigarette and I'm coughing. But I think it's my sinuses are acting up too. I get that a lot. What is that? Oh, it looked like a face in there. It was creepy for a minute. Y'all go back and look and see if that looked like a face in there or if I'm just possessed. I think it looked like a face in there. And I'm starving. I'm getting where I don't want to cook anymore. Ugh. And I used to love to cook, but now I'm just over it. It's just me and her, which it always really was, but I would take stuff up, you know, leftovers up to my mom's and them. I just don't do that anymore. Mom and dad have to watch what they eat. So here I am making freaking food to feed eight people, and it's 
just me and a 10 year old little girl who sometimes I have to force to eat. But she's the same as me. I mean, if, if I didn't start getting a headache from not eating, I would forget to eat. Don't get me wrong, I love food. And I love to eat and I love to cook. But I don't know, I just get busy and focused on something and I don't take the time to eat. You'd think I'd be a heck of a lot skinnier than I am. But I've already went through that. I was borderline anorexic. And I did not like it. Did not like it one bit. I mean, skinny. Skinny is one thing, but unhealthy is so much easier to get to when you're already skinny to begin with. I am currently not having that problem anymore. I mean, I'm more strict on myself to remember to eat than I used to be. So I hope I never get like that again. And the good thing is, I'm one of those people that can look at food and gain weight. So, that's in my favor. And I don't mind gaining weight. I don't mind being, you know, bigger. I was bigger too. I don't mind it. I'm quite content with any way my body decides to be, shape or form. Because you know what? If somebody doesn't like you for the way you look or the way your body is, then they don't deserve you. And they're not going to treat you right. Because the way it should be is you should love someone for the way they are, not for how they look. If you're basing relationships solely on looks, more power to you, but I don't see anything happening for long term. Let's see, did I get that? Yeah, I kind of forgot that whole part. Is there stuff under it? I don't see anything under them. Guess I can run it under. Just to make sure. Yeah, I used to be, um... I used to be a very pretty girl. When, in my younger years, I was very, very pretty. And, you know, I got really cocky and arrogant. And, I don't know, I just felt like nobody was good enough for me. Based on my looks. Because I was just so dang pretty. Too pretty for anybody. And, um, that was an awful life. That was an awful life because the people that you think are good looking and super sure of themselves and all that, they're not relationship people most of the time because they're always worried about what the other people think of them. 
And when you're happy in a relationship, you don't worry about what other people think. You worry about your partner and your relationship. That's what I, that's my philosophy anyways. So I spent a few years just waiting around for Mr. Wright to walk through the door. And they would, they would walk through the door and they would walk right back out too. As soon as the next pretty thing come along. And I began to understand that that's not, you don't find respect in people who look at your beauty only. You find respect in the people who love you the way you are. Being pretty, being good looking, all of that, it's just a plus. Now I know I'm not ugly. I don't think I'm ugly. I'm not super fine either. And I'm all right with that. I am perfectly fine with that. I don't, I don't want to be. I feel like if I was, most of the time I tried to get in a relationship, it would just be fake. It would be based on my looks. And I don't want that. Don't want it at all. Alright, I had to get low here, I think. I know it wants me to buy the metal cleaner, it would be faster. Blah, 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 blah. I know. But that, what, $10 or whatever? It adds up. Especially when you don't make much money doing big old buildings. But that's just me and that's my way of thinking. You may not agree and you don't have to. You do not have to agree with me. That's just the way I... The way I see it, and what I feel. Oh my gosh, this stuff is getting harder and harder to get off. Shiver me timbers. That worked. And that was my cat making that noise. Sorry. She likes to lay right in front of the mic. I guess it makes her think I'm talking to her. I don't know. Moving on to the other side. Oh my gosh, don't look at how much we have to go. That's a lot. $5,000 is going to be... Hard to come by, but you sure don't make a crap ton for these buildings. Let's turn it. Get down, see if, nope. Dang. They're trying to take it easy on us, I guess.
Everything's dinging. We're doing good. Did that thing? Yep, and yep. Alright, we're gonna move on because I can't reach that. I'm a shoddy. Shoddy, shoddy. Too bad you can't peep in the windows. Wait. What is... Okay, so there's that building. What is that reflection? What is that? There's nothing behind us. In the blue van. What? Is that in the front? So I can see a reflection of the front through the window. That's crazy. Here I am wasting time. Sorry, I get sidetracked really easy. It's like, ooh, shiny. I like to blame my daughter's ADHD on her father. But I think it might come from me. <laughs> That's awful. But I'll never tell him that. I haven't spoke to him. Uh, I don't even know how long. It's awful. Months. Months. I did get a did get a message from him asking me how I was doing and this was about a month ago and I didn't respond and well all I put was that my daughter was fine and that was all we needed to discuss and uh he was like, um, well, you know, now that you're down to one income, I just wanted to make sure that you have enough money to get by. And I'm like, I'm fine. And he said, well, I haven't been sending child support, y'all. This dude is like thousands behind. And I said, yes, I'm well aware of that. And he was like... Well, it's going to be a little bit longer before I can, but I just want you to know, as soon as I can, I'm going to start. And I was like, well, that's wonderful. If you can, that would be lovely. And, yeah, there was nothing. There's never nothing. <laughs> if it wasn't for my daughter, I would have taken action about it. But that's her dad, regardless of everything else. That's her father. I will not be the one to put him in jail. Now, if it gets down where she's missing out on things or she can't have a decent life because of him not paying child support, do not think I would think twice about going up there and turning him in. But, uh, you know, one day he's going to have to pay that. And, you know, even if she's 18 and she gets it, that's fine. As long as she's fine, that's that's okay with me. Now, where's that freaking ladder? 
a ladder. Just get up top. Yeah, I'm one of those. I don't. I don't stand up for myself like I should, for sure. But I also. I believe there's a lot of really good daddies out there that are forced to pay child support. And the mothers still don't let them see their kid like it's supposed to be. And that's bull crap. Son of a biscuit. Hold on. Alrighty, I'm back. And that was my daughter. I've done a little bit. I just kind of worked well. I talked to her. Yeah. She's calling her dad. See, my situation is weird. I had two incomes, yes. He was helping out, helping to pay the bills and stuff. Son of a biscuit, hold on. Oh, that was horrible. All right, so, yes, my ex-husband was helping me. He, um, you know, he, he did his thing and whatever, but he was helping me. So things were really easy for me. And with his, whoa, with his income gone, yes, things are tougher. And I've had to, you know, trim the fat and just keep things no, no excess spending you know not undoable but doable I don't know how to explain it well my daughter calls ironically it says that my sister told her the aunt the aunt the um fair was in town and it was last week and I take her every year I didn't take her this year we don't really have the extra money in our budget to go to the fair it's expensive and she threw a fit and that's what that second call was my sister wants me to come and get her she threw a fit, and I told her, I said, baby, you know, mommy just, I, we can't do it. We just can't. And so she's upset, wanted to call her dad, and I told her the only number I had for him, and I said, that I don't even know if that works. And this poor child, y'all, she was like, well, can't you just use the money that my dad sends you? <sighs> yeah. So I had to break it to her gently. I said, baby, I don't know what's going on, but your daddy hasn't been able to send anything for a while. So we don't have any child support from your dad. Then she got upset. I want to call my daddy right now. Ugh. Horrible. I mean, it, I know it's the fair and she's a kid. Of course, every kid wants to go to the fair. But in our situation right now, I do not have that money put away. Things are tight. Sometimes if I mess up and splurge and buy her an uh, extra toy or something while I'm getting groceries, then I'm short for the month. Right now, until I can get better at it, I'm short for the month, you know. And it's just something that she's going to have to learn. She's going to have to learn that, you know, people only have the money that they have. You can't pull it out of the sky. It's just the way it is. I 
And if she wants to ask her dad about child support, who am I to stop her? I didn't put her up to it. It's all her. But, you know, he don't see her at all. And he used to send oh, big honking toys. Probably a couple hundred dollars worth of toys for her every Christmas, every birthday. And since he's had kids, other children, he doesn't. He doesn't even do that. She'll go to his mom's house. I'll, I'll let her go over there to his mom's house. And he com might come in for an hour. Sometimes he don't even do that. His mom will end up buying a gift and saying it's from him for Bella. And they don't have no money either. It'll be something from the dollar store or something. And... She's not spoiled, but we've always had ample money to buy better quality things. So when she gets gifts like that, she says, thank you, like a good girl. And she plays with it in front of them. And then when she gets home, she'll put it in her giveaway box. Because... Unless it's something really fun and she likes it, she's not going to keep it. We both know, me and her both know, that she'll get a toy and five minutes later, it's gone. If she don't like it, it's gone. And that's just the way it is. And I hate it that I couldn't take her to the fair this year but it's something we have to learn it's a new way of life for us and we have to learn it now granted I like I said I may gamble but I'm frugal I have got our light bill down to less than 200 a month right now which is amazing um, my vehicle is paid for my house is paid for I have no credit cards no credit card debt but you know there just isn't enough money at the end of the month right now for extra expenditures there just isn't I think my most costly thing right now is health insurance and vehicle insurance. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Probably groceries too. That's freaking awful. That's another reason I need to stop cooking so much. I cook way too much. I need to cook smaller portions. I need to find some meals that, you know, you can cook small portions of. Not these big chili and casseroles and pots of pasta. I don't need to do that. Oh my goodness, look at this, y'all. How am I supposed to get over there? Oh, I guess just crouch? Oh, yeah. Or I guess I could have used the ladder. Let's see what time we are at. Oh my. All right. 
Well, I got a lot to do, so I'm going to keep working on it, and I'll bring you guys back before I finish. Alrighty, I'm back again, and I think we're almost done. Ish. We just have to do the high spots. I got the roof pretty much done. I would say pretty much done. And we just have to do this kind of stuff up here. I hope anyways. All right, let's pick you up and go over here. Yeah, I forgot this side. Don't you judge me. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of forgetting, isn't it? How do you forget a whole side? Leave it to Beaver. If it can be done, it will be done. It will definitely be done. Who would let their building get this filthy anyways? Honestly. I can put that scaffolding thing over here. That might work better than the um, ladder for reaching what we need to reach. Maybe so. Maybe, maybe, baby. How did I not even try to hit this? I mean, I don't know sometimes what goes on in this little pea brain of mine. It's awful. Completely awful. I'm just mostly stressing of her calling her dad. I mean, that's... What if he don't answer, you know? Is she going to feel rejected? Am I going to have to come up with some kind of excuse for him? Ugh. Now, she's like me. She's got some patience, you know. She won't just try him once, and if he don't answer, then she's going to get mad. But I expect that phone to ring again. Really soon. Because I just have that sneaking suspicion that he has uh, either changed his phone number or is just not going to answer her. And that's going to make me angry. Maybe, maybe he'll answer. I will once again give that man the benefit of the doubt. And we shall see.
Let's see. Now, can I get on this ledge? Yes. Thank goodness. But I'm not going to be able to hit up above the window right here. I changed to the little orange one. I mean, that should reach. I'm going to say it, it, it did. That's what we're going to say. And then if I can't find it, we'll know where. Jumpings for the birds. It's for the birds, I tell you, for the birds. I swear to God, if he makes my baby cry, ooh, y'all don't even want to know. I mean, if he wants to. Stay away from her and all that stuff. That's fine. I mean, it's not, but whatever. But don't mess with my baby. Don't you dare make her cry. There's got to be something I'm missing. It's over here. Is it? No, that one's done. Let's see. Oh, it says drill tower window sill and office wall. Okay, well it's not this office wall. Not you. All right, so let's go to the window sill. Which one could it be? I want the window sill? It's up there. That nabbit. Hundred miles away. Whoa. It's up one more. Oh. <laughs> Don't you judge me. Oh, I see it's underneath it. Ay ay ay. I called myself doing underneath them. Office wall. So this is part of the office? No, this is part of the office. Oh my gosh. I don't see it. Alright, we're gonna have to climb up. Ursh, ursh it. Is it over here? Is it up here?
if this is going to make me angry. Mm-hmm. So maybe you have to clean in here to hit the back of the office wall. Let me switch the thingy here. Lord, my aim. Are you serious? Freaking serious. All right, well, we did it. Let's enjoy our handiwork here. Look at my little guy in blue just going around everywhere working so hard. You go, boy. All right. And we got all this lovely goodness to do next. I'm going to call it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And we'll see you all on the next episode. Bye!